Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This week on Warfronts, I am pissed off. I spent about an hour and a half, played maybe seven or eight games of Warfronts, just getting good, good footage for the show this week, only to find out that I was recording to an absolutely full hard drive. So what I have for you this week is the very first game I played. I also have five minutes of a really good uh, Black Garden, which I had hoped to use as my video this week, actually. Uh, but I only got the first five minutes of that ten-minute match. So here we are with this turd burger, and we are going to put ketchup on it and try to eat it. Uh, this is my return to PvP after about a week and a half off. I hadn't done anything really much uh, since the 1.8 patch and this is me returning to the game. Of course, last week we missed the episode. I just plumb run out of time, as my mountain kin folk would say. And instead of making a video telling you guys that I couldn't make a video, which seems kind of douchebaggy to me, uh, I just didn't make a video. And I've warned you guys in the past that if I don't have time to finish a video, I just can't do it. I don't have really time in my schedule to make it up. And uh, that is indeed what happens. So let's look at what happens here in this game. First of all, what you're going to see is uh, I'm going to get a little bit overrun here. Uh, I, I positioned myself here. I, I saw that I had backup. Then I turned my camera. What I don't realize is that my backup gets murdered and I quickly get overwhelmed by pretty much the whole Guardian team. And that is never fun. So, uh, yeah, they run the rape train on me there and I am dead. So, Library of the Rune Masters with my bard, it is fun at times. It's not quite as fun as Black Garden where everything is very concentrated. I mean, that is the key with the bard. You are healing, you're acting as a healing node essentially. The healing comes off of you, off of your target. And so you need to be in areas that are high population, lots of guys around you in order to do good healing. And this offers it from time to time. You're going to see me struggle in this game to, uh, to well, to play in general, but uh, to get a lot of efficient healing out. And uh, in general, I think I'm going to do good. And I think in general, I'm going to use the term in general at least 10 more times in this video. But uh, in general, I have a pretty good game here. I can't complain too much about it. I make some stupid mistakes, things that I shouldn't be doing. Uh, but in the end, uh, in general, it's a pretty good pretty good day. So uh, we give chase here to this guy. I'm not really sure why. I think we were just like, hey, it's fun to chase people. And I realized, you know, I should probably just stop and pick this thing up. And unfortunately, one of the evil, evil guardians decides that uh, I shouldn't pick that up, that I should be killed. And despite uh, two people dealing damage, uh, really can't take that guardian down. He died there, right there at the end, but... Uh, easily dispatches me despite my best efforts in healing. I was kind of trying to hit my old crap uh, combo there, which is to use Riff, which gives me uh, five combo points and then heal myself, but it really didn't do much. So as we continue forward in this game, what you're going to notice is that my situational awareness is kind of low. Uh, I had talked a couple weeks ago about wanting to be on my bard and to do some situational awareness drills, and this is kind of the opposite of that. Uh, my situational awareness ends up being kind of uh, kind of wonky. Uh, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But that is one thing I really need to practice, making sure that I'm aware of my surroundings. Uh, like you saw at the beginning of the game, I thought I had backup. I turned my camera away so I could no longer see my backup and lost track of him. Therefore, I was overrun. Those are the sort of things that I've got to prevent. And here we see another chase. <laughs> I feel like Benny Hill music should be playing in the background uh, as we just chase these guys uh, around the lower ring. Uh, we are holding relics. Uh, this team, for all of the massive uh, quick killing that they seemed capable of, you know, they were able to, to dish out lots of damage in a really short amount of time. Certain members of that team, they just weren't looking for relics. They never went for relics. Uh, I think that they were just having a good time bashing skulls, and that's all they really wanted to do. So uh, that was all that they indeed did, and as you will see, they will go down in a fiery blaze of not glory as uh, they are defeated by us because we actually play the objective. You can see three relics to one there. And um, here's some of that situational awareness actually uh, working for me. I'm standing here and I'm going to town on this person. And then I realize, you know, I need to check my six, which is now my noon. And I realize after a second here, oh crap, there are more 
guardians. Uh, I need to move. Here come the guardians. You know, here come the, uh, I gotta run. I need to get out of here. And indeed I do. So that's some situational awareness paid off. You know, I stayed there to get the kill as long as I could, kind of hung out and waited, uh, waited out my time there. And eventually I'm overrun. I make a, a, a retreat here. And I see, uh, oh, hey, there's somebody I can I can get with this person. They'll protect me. No, they're AFK. Uh, they're just hanging out. Yeah, so I run over thinking this cleric will save me. And uh, no, they do not. They were just chilling out, probably, you know, catching a cigarette or uh, scratching their butt or whatever. And, and I just get destroyed by a group of guardians. Yeah, that's going to happen. Whatever. So uh, the respawn is going to happen here, and I'm kind of assessing the situation, you know, where is my exit point? Am I going to jump down? I'm, I'm taking a look down, kind of seeing there's a battle going on in the middle. Um, is this what I, is this going to be my best uh, point of exit? You know, the straight jump down. I notice I got two other teammates who head down that way, but I ultimately elect to head to a teleporter uh, because, number one, I know that there's a relic uh, over that way, and I want to try to secure that because, of course, the objectives are victory. And so I head for the relic right away. And I'm going to grab that up and take a quick look back to the center to see how things are going over there. And uh, what I'm going to notice is they're going poorly. So <laughs> I have an ally who's back up here towards the uh, towards the uh, the rare spawn of, of the relic. I'm going to hang out with this guy. And uh, we're going to kind of try to rain down a little damage on these folks who are just sort of hanging out in the pit. And uh, eventually get a little impatient, and I decide to go ahead and take off. I do notice the battle in the middle is kind of raging. You know, it's it's going pretty decently. And uh, we all hop down and just absolutely destroy this guy, four or five of us. Just That's the sort of nightmare scenario, right? When you think you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one with a support character, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's like 10 guys there who just surround you. It feels like uh, Robin Hood and his Merry Men, where there's just one guy standing in the road leaning on, you know, a stick, and the entire, uh, the entire army of the good sheriff of Nottingham is like, uh, let us pass. And he says, no, you must pay the toll. And they say, well, how are you going to make us pay the toll? And then like 10 woodsmen leap out and swing in from everywhere. And that was a really long and kind of pointless uh, analogy there. But uh, I think it works. I'm sticking with it. I think it was solid. Uh, anytime you can talk about Robin Hood and his merry men in a video about Rift, I think you're hitting a home run. Expect to see probably 10 to 15 extra subs from that. Money's going to start rolling in off that ad revenue based on my Robin Hood analogies. Oh my god, it's been a while. I've been away from the mic for a week, guys. you gotta got to give me a little bit here. Uh, so I overextend myself there and uh, get killed. By this point in the match, I should be a target for the other team. They should realize uh, that uh, I am support. Uh, one of one of three healers, ultimately, but uh, they should have assessed me by this point. Of course, the game is all but over uh, with a, uh, a very hands-down, brutal beating here. Uh, over 500 points, uh, our victory margin. Uh, so I am going to be a target here by the end of the game, but that's, you know, that's natural. I'm accustomed to that as a healer, uh, being a target, being a first burn target. And um, yeah, that's it. The victory, it is moot, the points, because I ain't getting killed. I'm leaving this battleground. Battleground? Did I just say battleground? I just said battleground on war fronts. You know, if I was a dedicated person who was who was really careful about what he recorded and what he put out on the internet, I would stop this and I would redo this recording, but uh, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. This is me, warts and all. Yes, I said battlegrounds on an episode of war fronts. Yes, I spent five minutes talking about Robin Hood. But it is what it is, folks. A decent game for me. Uh, I came in uh, third behind two pure healers, but not by that much. Only three k, or only one k behind one, and uh, only a few behind the other. I'm pretty happy with that, you know. As a support character in this bracket, as a bard specifically, I'm fairly overpowered, and I like that. Uh, I do enjoy my uh, time as a bard in the 30s brackets, and uh, I really can't complain too much. I think the bard is working well. Uh, when it comes to 1.8, I didn't see many changes, if any, for the Bard, and so I'm happy about that. I mean, I think he works well the way he is in the position that he's in. Uh, I know in the past I've talked about, you know, maybe he's not uh, doing everything he could do, and I do think the class could uh, could could get a redesign uh, to a certain extent. I, I think what it's really lacking is another soul to synergize with, and this was something that I saw in an article. I think it was Riff Junkies 
way back when the game first came out, you know, basically saying that there's no soul that the bard really synergizes with because of the way that it functions. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't work well with others. It doesn't play well with others. And uh, it would be nice if there was another soul out there that the bard could synergize with. And I think at that point, I would feel like most of my concerns about the bard uh, were dealt with if, if it had some sort of a natural mate as so many other specs have you know so many other souls have that natural mate like it's obvious that I'm going to go with this because it provides x benefit that is uh, boosting my class's main ability the bard not so much so you struggle you pick things uh, that will help you a little bit little minute uh, pieces of of uh, of boost and buff, but I really do wish it had a, a soul that it synergized with on a really, really great level. Something like uh, Ranger Marksman, uh, that kind of thing. You know, something that just, it was just like peanut butter and jelly. You know, where I'm, I am peanut butter. Where's my jelly? That's what I need. All right, guys. <laughs> on that note, I think it is time to go. I do have to apologize for the nature of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I was a little off the cuff. I think I'm drinking coffee that has chicory in it, and I don't know if chicory has intoxicating powers, but I feel a little drunk. I'm just going to be honest. I feel a little drunk right now. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Again, I apologize for last week. Uh, sometimes episodes will just get missed like that. Uh, you can always check out my my uh, website, bigdaveischeap.com, and I will try to mention there when I am unable to produce an episode of Warfronts, but uh, otherwise it's really difficult for you Rift guys to get any information about Warfronts. Uh, I kind of have abandoned my Twitter uh, ta at Tales of Talara. I've kind of abandoned that Twitter just because it's hard keeping up two Twitters. I don't... I don't like it. It's too much work. So <laughs> check out BigDavisCheap.com. I'm just going to kind of roll the Rift content over there as in terms of uh, talking about it. You know, so if I'm missing an episode of Warfronts, I'll just say on BigDavisCheap.com, no episode this week. So you guys can look there and find that information. And that keeps me from having to look like a douche and making a video to tell you guys that I'm not making a video. All right. Didn't I just say I was going to end this? I think I did. All right, guys. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.